and welcome to WGN TV Political Report. We've got a lot to get to this morning, but we begin with Washington, D.C. The new Congress is off to a dramatic start with the election of a new speaker, Kevin McCarthy. Now with a slim majority in the House, Republicans are pursuing their campaign promises of defunding and expansion of the IRS, voting to restrict abortion rights nationwide. Democrats in control of the Senate have promised to block those bills from moving forward. But it's another piece of news that has all of Washington talking right now with the revelation that two batches of classified documents from the Obama presidency were found in Pre President Joe Biden's possession from when he was vice president. The president says he's fully cooperating, but Attorney General Merrick Garland has appointed a special prosecutor to oversee the investigation. Joining me this morning in our WGN studios is Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, Democrat representing Illinois' 9th District, also serves as Senior Chief Deputy Whip, which means you're busy. Congresswoman, good to see you again. So good to be with you. Thank you, Paul. Let's start with the news of the week, uh -huh. which is the finding of those documents. And clearly what confuses it is because we had the whole Mar-a-Lago thing going on where the president, President Biden, said such a thing should, should never happen. And now we're seeing it with him. There's the, the legal piece of this, but there's the political piece of this. How's it going to play out? Well, I think the difference is so extreme when you actually had to, to raid um, the, the, the home of the former president in order to even find out what he had. Where, when he went and said, um, it's mine, these documents are mine. I don't apologize for anything. Joe Biden, on the other hand, first of all, I think was unaware of that. You know, when you move things, that can happen. Um, but also, he has fully cooperated in every way to be able to make sure that all is, is, is right. Um, the opposite is, is true of Donald Trump. Well, you've been in Congress 25 years, so you understand Republicans, you understand how they play. I do. So I understand your perspective. Do you, you, do you really, this isn't going to quiet down with them. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't think they're, they're going to find anything, certainly with, uh, with, with Joe Biden. Um, I think it does complicate um, really going after um, the, the documents that were, that were taken, the over 300 documents that we know that uh, Trump has. Um, and uh, we, don't, we don't know how those got there. So I, I think, you know, it's not a good thing. But I think it's really different between these two presidents. Let's talk about your life in the new Republican-controlled House okay. by a slim majority. You know, those of us who watch the speaker vote, I mean, look, it was chaotic. But Americans also have short memories. So pretty soon, that'll be behind us and they'll move on. I just want to get your sense of, because you know Kevin McCarthy, what, what expectation do you have that he will get control of his Congress? And what role can Democrats play except being the loyal opposition. Well, when I look at what the Republicans are putting forward, I have to wonder if they actually paid attention to the elections, the last elections. Um, they introduced two terrible bills to further limit reproductive rights, abortion rights, when they know already from what happened in the last session and that um, the American people do not want to see their rights taken away. We saw them actually help the wealthiest tax cheaters um, by passing legislation that would take money out of the IRS, um, uh, the, the uh, you know, all their well, taxes. That's the 8,700 8, agents, whatever. But, but here's the thing. The Republicans have said, no, no, those new agents, they were going after you and me. They were going after regular folks. Well, that is just simply not true. And what we know is, um, and that has been projected by the experts, that actually this is going to add to the deficit. This is really to help the wealthiest tax cheats um, who, you know, ordinary people pay through their uh, income, ta you know, when, when they get their, their checks. It's the wealthiest people that hire people those who are going to help them reduce their taxes. So one thing that Republicans know, they know that anything they pass, like the legislation you're talking about, it's going nowhere because the Senate's probably not going to even take it up. Certainly President Biden wouldn't sign any of it. So what I expect we will see from them in this term, lots of investigations. I know you expect that as well. Everything from Hunter Biden to now the Joe Biden document situation, President Biden, Afghanistan, they're investigating the January 6th committee members is on the agenda. What could Democrats do about any of that? You know, they are good at naming bills, but really what we're seeing is the Insurrectionist Protection Act when they say what they want to do is to investigate these important investigations on what happened 
on um, January 6th. What has happened um, with all the corruption that we have seen from the um, former Trump administration? They want to stop those kinds of important investigations that protect our democracy, that keep everything fair in the United States, protect our right to vote. So I, I, I think the fact that that they are going to continue the kind of attacks and investigations is not what the American people want to know. What about me? What are you doing for me? Are, are any of the investigations, they're going to look at Afghanistan, and our departure from Afghanistan was not the smoothest departure. Do you support something like that? Let's take another look at that. I think it's worthwhile looking at Afghanistan. It, it was bad, but I think what people want to know, what are they going to, what they want to do is to cut programs, they've announced it, like Social Security and Medicare. Really? I, my attitude there is kind of make my day because this is not popular with the American people. So if they want to spend their time on investigations, on trying to stop reproductive rights, I think they are really going to have only two years if, le if that, uh, for, McKevin, for Kevin McCarthy. And, and I know that you have talked about your agenda, the Democrats' agenda for this yeah. session. You're looking to create a pathway for citizenship, for DACA recipients, protect Social Security and Medicare. Uh, your words, fight for good wages, fair benefits. But you do that without Republicans behind you doing it. So how does any of that happen? Well, you know, I think that we're seeing some changes among Republicans. Um, I think that there may be an interest in those who are in the marginal districts, that they may want to support some of the things that Democrats are, are offering. Um, I'm hoping for that. We'll see. On my committee, on um, the Consumer Protection Subcommittee in the last session, I was the chairman. I'll probably be the ranking Democrat. And I, I think we're going to be able to see some things actually accomplished. You've been in Congress, as I've said, for over 25 years. You've seen a lot. The people's view of politics in Congress is not high. Do you see the new generation who's coming into Congress now? Is that, what's the future looking like from, from those of you who've been around for a long time versus some of the younger people, newer people who are in Congress? How are things changing? Well, I know certainly on the Democratic side, we have, um, now we have 35 new members, uh, very diverse. The Democratic caucus in general represents people of uh, all races and religions and even, even ideological views. It's really, really diverse. Um, we even saw one of the Republicans saying that she thought that they ought to not go after abortion rights. She, she ended up voting with the Republicans. That was Congress, yeah. yeah, yeah but would... but we, are, we are seeing that, uh, you know, with the diversity in the, in the Congress, I think we're going to see some changes in the legislation that comes about. I'm hoping that we can do something bipartisan immigration. We need to. And look, while you're here, I want to give you an opportunity. I know you brought $26 million back uh, in, in the prior spending bills for your uh, 15, 15 community projects in your district. Just can you mention a couple of things that we're going to see from the money you brought back from Washington? Well, you know, we had the opportunity, all members, each member of Congress, to bring back some money to the community to choose um, 15 projects. Um, just today, I was uh, at Glenbrook High School where a clinic was opened in the high school, um, where there's not going to be any out-of-pocket costs for students or even for the um, staff there, um, right there in the, in the high school. Um, I've been able to do some infrastructure projects around the district and to more mental health projects. Um, and these are things that we know members know in their districts, and it's really a wonderful thing, and I'm hoping the Republicans will continue these um, community projects. Um, we'll see what they do. Well, with the challenges come the nice moments, and I wanted to give you a chance to talk yeah, about thank that. thank you so much. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky of Illinois' 9th District, thank you for being with me as I always. I appreciate it. Have a great Sunday. Thank you.